This last week, Shigeru Miyamoto made a lot of waves by announcing that him and Nintendo will be producing a live-action Legend of Zelda movie. And ever since then, there's been a lot of rumors swirling around about potential casting choices. And when I say rumors, I mostly mean uh, they're talking about fan casting, which is just names that people have been throwing out on social media. And usually fan casting just kind of amounts to this person kind of looks like the character, so I think they should play the role. And in regards to the casting choices for Zelda, one name keeps coming to the surface, and that's uh, Hunter Schaefer. Uh, I'm not really familiar with this person, but I've come to learn that this is actually a trans actor, meaning uh, Hunter is a biological male that identifies as female now and is actually gotten pretty big on the show uh, Euphoria. I've never personally watched that show, but apparently uh, Hunter plays a trans person in that show, a trans actor playing a trans character. Okay, whatever. I mean, that fits the rules of the LGBTQ ABCD uh, community. So I can see that being the case for this situation. But unfortunately for them, it really doesn't work out in the character or Hunter being cast as Zelda because We've actually learned in the past that people, a trans actor isn't able to play a cis straight character. And that has to do with stuff like this, uh, where Scarlett Johansson famously had to drop out of a role because she was supposed to play a trans person and people within the alphabet community were upset because like, oh, well, you can't have a cis white woman playing a trans person in a, a movie or whatever. You need a trans person to play that role. So it's like, Okay, fine. She dropped out, and as a result, that movie never got made. So it does stand the reason that you can't actually have a trans person uh, simultaneously play a cis person because that would go against the rules, right? Well, no, in, in a way, because they're also trying to say that Zelda is gender fluid and trans, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that she masqueraded herself as Sheik in the Ocarina of Time games. Uh, and for people who actually think this is a legitimate excuse, obviously haven't played the game because in the context of the game itself, uh, Zelda wasn't like gender fluid or trans or anything in the context of the game. She was currently being hunted by Ganondorf and she would masquerade herself as the Sheik character, which is a male character or uh, presenting as a male character, if you will, in order to try to avoid capture. Uh, cross-dressing female figures like Mulan and Joan of Arc are well known in cultures around the world and these were likely the inspiration behind the Sheik Zelda twist. Still, it's doubtful that Nintendo had any intentions of sparking a gender debate when they created the game in the 90s. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this wasn't really a subject of this debate at the, in the 90s when they made the game. Uh, I mean, maybe amongst some fringe people in academia or whatever, but uh, for the most part, like, yeah, they were just saying like, people have actually dressed up in as men in the past or whatever, because it was some type of societal advantage to them to actually do that. I mean, it kind of like how they're doing that nowadays, but that's another subject for another time. Uh, but as of 2014, the official answer regarding gender uh, Zelda's gender identity from Nintendo of America, executive bill Trinan is the definitive answer is that Sheik is a woman, simply Zelda in a different outfit. <laughs> I mean, and, yeah, I mean, I think pretty much like 10 year old me when I was first playing Ocarina of Time could tell you that it's like, yeah, this is just it was just that. I mean, it was just Zelda trying to disguise herself. She wasn't trying to present as a guy or anything like that. I don't think anyone actually thought that realistically. I mean, the only people who would probably think otherwise are people who are just playing it now for the first time and aren't actually fans of the franchise or anything Zelda related. Uh, but of course, they're trying to still say like, oh, well, no, it's still up for debate. I mean, if you subscribe to the whole death of the author sort of thing. But honestly, I mean, I think this is just kind of a dumb subject that if I'm going to be completely honest, because, yeah, people are trying to say like, oh, Hunter Schaefer is in like a lot of talks to be the new character or the new person to play Zelda. But I mean, this really is just kind of an astroturfed subject because there's a lot of names that have been thrown around for playing Zelda. But yet a lot of the headlines are literally Hunter Schaefer just for the simple fact that Hunter presents as a trans woman. So they want to have that representation. But thankfully, the culture war is kind of shifting away from this. People are understanding like, OK, stunt casting like this is kind of bad for the bottom line of the movie. I mean, if you want to make something good, you don't try to just stunt cast or whatever you try to cast the right person for the role and doing stuff like this just kind of alienates audiences because it goes to show like they don't 
take the subject matter seriously when you're uh, trying to just cast in order to be representative. And we've seen a lot of box office bombs over the years because of stuff like this. And I think a lot of studios, particularly Nintendo, are understanding like this isn't what you want to do if you're trying to make a good movie. So I think this is just kind of something funny to laugh about right now. But it's never going to actually transpire, at least. I don't think it's going to transpire. Maybe, maybe something can change, but right now I have my doubts and sorry for all the trans activists out there, but Zelda will probably just remain a cis uh, straight woman in the, in the movie. But let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. And if you like this video, make sure you click that like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel. If you want to stay up to date with the latest news. Thank you.